competition is the antidote for peace. When one pours over the Tao Te Ching, one sees a pattern, many patterns. One of them is of non-competition, non-striving, not competing against ourselves, not competing against others. What then are we to do? Act from centered spontaneity. This is also known as simplicity in the terminology, the nomenclature of the Tao Te Ching. What does that mean? Well, it means we are neither scattered like a little kid who spun around in one spot for too long, and now they're wandering about like they've had a bit too much to drink. And they're not contrived like they're going through life maniacally checking off a checklist. It means we move from a place of centeredness. Our mind moves from centeredness. Our communication flows from centeredness. Our behavior flows from centeredness. It can be quite playful and fun. It can be industrious. So there's nothing wrong with, for instance, playing horseshoes. Tossing a horseshoe across an expanse towards an iron post or a steel post, nothing wrong with that at all, as long as it's done from a place of centeredness and easygoing. One of the areas of agreement between the teachings of Gautama the Buddha and the teachings of Lao Tzu the sage our in striving, our desire, our craving, and how it pretty much is the cause, if not, not, if not the cause of all our sufferings, then at least that which exacerbates all our sufferings. Now, in the folly of my youth, I thought, well, I'll just choose not to desire anything. And that flies just about as well as a lead balloon. That's why both the Tao Te Ching and the teachings of Buddha endorse meditation. Meditation can help us to, it can cause our desires, our contrivances, our competitions, our strivings to evaporate until all that's left is centered spontaneity. My name is Lama Chikmekiatso, and this is the Buddha Joy Meditation School.